Hi, it's William here with Certainty Home Inspections. If you live in our Kentuckyana area and have not had your home tested for deadly radon gas, we highly recommend that you do so. The U.S. Surgeon General has released a health advisory stating that many Indiana and Kentucky counties are at the EPA's highest level and that all of Indiana and Kentucky is at risk for deadly radon gas. Breathing radon presents a significant health risk to families all over the country. Indoor radon gas is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States. And the EPA now estimates that around 30,000 radon-related lung cancer deaths happen each year. Any home can have a radon problem, new and old homes, well-sealed or drafty, and including homes with or without basements. We are most likely to get our greatest radiation exposure at home because this is where we spend most of our time. Don't rely on radon results taken in the neighborhood. Homes that are side by side can have very different radon levels. And testing is the only way to know what your home's radon level truly is. The history book of radon, although scientists were aware that radon exposure caused lung cancer, high levels in homes wasn't discovered until 1984. When the basement of a home in Pennsylvania was found to have radon levels so extreme that the owner was setting off radiation alarms at the nuclear power plant where he worked. Since then, again, researchers have now estimated around 30,000 lung cancer deaths in the U.S. due to radon annually. And again, it's only second to cigarette smoking as the leading cause of lung cancer. You can look, but you cannot see it. You can sm sniff, but you will not smell it. And you can swallow, but you will not taste radon. How does radon enter into your home? Through fractures in the bedrock, it can be released up into to the soil. If you have well water, it can get into your well water. Drinking the water won't harm you, but as you use the water in your home, the radon is released into the air and thus breathed in, causing lung damage. If you have sump pumps, that's another great source for radon to enter your home. Cracks in your basement floor or walls, and of course any kind of drafty windows. The predominant driving force is building-induced soil suction. Buildings can create vacuums that will draw soil gas in. These vacuums are very small and are referred to as pressure differentials. Mechanically induced negative pressures can increase radon entry as well. As exhaust systems operate, infiltration increases, causing increased outside air and increased soil gas to enter your home. This would be, for an example, running a ceiling fan or an exhaust fan in your bathroom. Environmental effects, frost, or other factors that can cap the soil. Frost caps the soil, so negative pressure of the building is exerted on a larger area. Asphalt aprons around large buildings can also have this same effect. Rain effects with radon. Rain can cap the soil, can displace soil gas and force it into the building, often accompanied with barometric pressure changes. Living in a home at 4.0, which is the EPA's action level, is equivalent to smoking a half a pack of cigarettes every day. Our area is known to have high background levels of natural radiation. However, not all homes are affected. Certified by the Radon Measurement Proficiency Program of the EPA, our detection device is placed in the lowest livable level of the house and left there for at least a 48-hour period. New homes can be built with passive systems. A passive system does not require any power. It's simply a vent from below the basement floor to above the roof. If after construction the home is completed and the radon levels are found to be above the EPA threshold for action, it is much easier and cheaper and much more attractive than installing a system after construction has been completed. A good thick plastic barrier properly sealed and installed will also help reduce radon entry through any crawl space. Most homes can be mitigated for under $1,200. A radon system pulls air from under the basement or subfloor, preventing radon gas and damp, musty air from entering the home. The cost to operate a system for the average home is about $40 to $50 per year. This could actually be offset by not having to run a basement dehumidifier as often or by simply changing one standard light bulb to a compact fluorescent bulb. I hope that this helps you understand radon more for, uh, for our particular area. We would love to get you scheduled and get you tested. Feel free to give us a call. It's toll free, 866 417-9591 or visit us on the web and schedule your inspection right there at www.certaintyinspections.com.